Welcome. This is the Energy Vibration Breakdown for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the month of March, or the month of April. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the month of April. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful likes, shares, and support. Um, this month of April, we are going to be taking a look and see what is coming in and I'm sorry um, for um, the um, color of this video but I am unfortunately I can't do anything differently um, because um, of the computer that I'm using okay um, as soon as I can uh, find a better solution definitely the solution will come up okay um it's just as if uh sometimes the universe um works this way okay so i want to say thank you for like sharing my videos and thank you for the wonderful support that is coming in um thank you to each and every person for supporting my channel and we are going to be seeing what is transpiring what is happening let's go ahead and check out the month for you guys please like share these videos remember that these videos are an hour long or more but um, um the extended reading will be on um, the channel to find okay um, on demand okay so let's see what's coming out for April okay this is uh, the second quarter of the year it has gone so far um, so quickly so um, we are going to be aligning ourselves and see what is coming out for you guys in this month of April now this is a really a month of changes okay so um for you guys uh, let's see what's coming out for the Aquarian and moon horizon sign in the first week of april we have the energy of justice in the second week of uh, in april we have the energy of the tower and then we have the energy of strength in the third week and in the fourth week we have the energy of temperance okay so um um the first week is going to be good for you guys the second week is not going to be that good and the third week and the fourth week so for you aquarians you have to be aware of the situation that is transpiring around you um whatever it is uh, um some of you are having some legal issues that is not going to be so um positive so be aware of that and, and realize what is transpiring in your life okay so um we are going to be some of you are going to be having um some legal situation with a pisces cancer or a scorpion okay so be aware of that so um some of you in the first week or second week uh, going in the second week you're going to be having some um situation with a pisces cancer or a scorpion now um this person um whatever is transpiring with this person there is going to be um as if this person is going to be um just um removing out of your life whatever the situation is it's as if this person is going to be removing out of your life the energy of the tower comes up with strength um i'm sorry guys and you have the seven of cups the seven of cups so whatever the situation is it is definitely an emotional um month that is going to be coming up for you aquarians especially between the first week and the second week there is definitely some emotional situation that is going to be coming up as we look at the energy in the third week going in the fourth week we have a fire energy and we have a hurt energy so for some of you you have to find a balance with your relationship whatever the situation is you definitely have to find balance with your relationship okay so there is a lot that is going to be happening for you guys um, there is definitely a lot that is really going to be happening. So um, be aware of this because um, what is transpiring is that the universe is just making some changes. Okay, so 
if you are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion whoever this person is there is a family situation in this situation there is going to be a tall moment which means that someone or something is going to be just um, unfortunately releasing out of your life okay um, this could be in a good sense this could be in a bad sense for some of you in the third week we have the energy of uh, um, you are trying to find in a strength with a relationship or with someone that you're dealing with in your life okay whatever that situation however it comes up you are definitely trying to find in a strength to deal with a situation there's definitely family issues that is going to be coming up but you have a strong foundation okay there's definitely some family issues that is going to be coming up but you definitely have some strong foundation okay so as we look at this um, reading, I'm seeing definitely a new start that is going to be coming up for you. Whatever that has happened, whatever that has transpired, I'm seeing definitely some new start that is going to be coming up for you guys. And as I said, there is definitely a legal situation. Some of you could be getting divorced or getting um, getting divorced, or um, maybe this person is just leaving your life in the first week, going in the second week. Now, for you guys, you have here fire fire and hurt so whatever the situation that is happening in the month of april this here fire fire and hurt is here and it is showing you because um whatever is leaving your life there is going to be multiple opportunities coming up for you okay and um if you were in a relationship uh, you have to find balance with this relationship however this relationship is coming up you need to find some balance in this relationship because obviously whatever that has been happening and whatever that has been transpiring um some of you are definitely going to be having some relationship situations um the the energy of uh, some of you could be um finding out um um a situation a family situation and there is going to be help because the center is the seven of cups so definitely help is definitely going to be um coming in Whatever that is happening and is transpiring and whatever it needs to leave your life, there is going to be multiple um, opportunities and better things that is going to be coming in. Some of you, um, when it comes on to the third week, are going to be trying to find yourself. Find yourself if you're in a relationship for a long time. You're going to be trying to figure out uh, um, the symbolism of this relationship and if this relationship is good for you. However way you look at this relationship, you're going to be trying to figure out how can I balance out this relationship? How can I um, be of service to the people in my life and also um, for this relationship though, so that there can be a positive uh, transformation in this relationship? Some of you are definitely are planning on moving. Some of you, whatever the situation is, you have a strong foundation, okay? So not to worry. Whatever the unbalance is that is transpiring in your life, not to worry definitely some of you are going to be having relationship problems and this could be marriage and then this could be you trying to find balance with a situation family situation is going to be coming up when you're looking at to see am i on the right part with my family or am i on the right part with certain situation and certain relationship that is coming up definitely i'm seeing some of you having a new start with a relationship whoever this person is however they're coming in your life there is definitely going to be a positive sense of transition that is going to be coming up and coming in your life so this is actually really good because what is transpiring is that there is definitely going to be help coming in and uh, if you are uh, looking for a new house whatever is it that you're looking for if you're looking for a new house um, the situation the situation that stands at this moment is that um, it could be um, coming up for you um, this month for you Aquarians it's all about balance whatever is transpiring it's all about balance because what we're basically seeing here that is playing out in a situation that has to do with balance there is um, it's called for um, you guys are called for to find the balance within yourself so that you can balance out other things and other situations definitely um some of you are going to be looking for a new place um um a new house um some of you are going to decide that is better um to find a new place some of you might be um leaving um the house behind that you have always have so 
it, it is coming up in different ways. Whatever the situation is, it's definitely coming up in different ways. So it's going to affect you guys. And it's all about the family. It's all about you balancing and finding out your true, um, you're going to be aligning yourself, but in a very, very positive way. Okay. You're going to be aligning yourself, but in a very, very positive way. And sometimes this is um, extremely good because what this does for you is basically is that um, sometimes you need to find the inner strength to make decisions. And it's all about the family at this time. It's definitely all about the family at this time. And you definitely need to find the strength to move on and look at a, a positive way um, of transition. Okay. Um, so let's see um how you guys are going to be affected and uh, um what's the energy that is coming up for you guys okay um so we're looking in general um there are some good news that is going to be coming out um in general um for some of you okay so um um for the younger people um some good news is coming out for the younger people in general um for the people between the age of 30 and 45 you're going to be dealing with a situation at work which um this is going to be um taking you um to research things okay and it's all about finding the truth so your month is um all about seeking the truth and going on a new part in your life seeking the truth and going on a new part in your life this is really really positive because there is going to be um judgment calls that is going to be coming out and these judgment calls is going to be coming out because whatever is transpiring in your life at this moment there's definitely some um situations and information that is going to be coming out that is going to be helping you to make that transition now a lot of you have to find inner balance especially with yourself don't push yourself at this in this month just take it very easily in this month don't push yourself because if you push yourself you're going to be pushing yourself out of balance and you need to really to find balance in your life and to understand certain aspect and certain situation that is coming in okay so um the month is going to be a month of uh, transition because i'm seeing whoever there is definitely someone that is going to be either divorcing but you will receive the house if you're divorcing you will receive the house okay it doesn't really matter if you're a man or a woman if you're divorcing you're going to be receiving the house what i'm seeing is that a lot of people are thinking about to move in together or um, uh, to make the uh, situations much better move in together and some of you could be moving in together and some of you have moved in together and you're trying to balance out the situation because some of you maybe this is the first time that you have ever been in a, um, a, a, a positive relationship in your life and what is happening is that you need to find yourself in this relationship whatever is transpiring you definitely need to find yourself in this relationship you definitely need to understand where you are so in general for the young people there is um definitely going to be some news some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant some of you could be starting new projects in um and work some of you are going to be um leaving relationships behind and looking forward as we look at the people between the ages of 30 and 45 i'm seeing you dealing with a father figure in your life and some of you could be receiving help from a father figure in your life some of you this person is going to want to work with you in alignments which is good and this is going to be um absolutely bringing positive energy so um as we look at um the eye princess is coming up for the people that i do people um and you're protected they're saying to you that you're protected so if you're between the ages of um 30 and 45 the eye princess is coming in and saying that you're protected now what we're seeing with the people the latest 45 years and older um we are definitely seeing that you need to listen more to your intuition a situation is going to be coming to an end and um you're going to be have to find inner strength when it comes on to love um 
what is happening is that for you ladies 45 years and older there is definitely some of you could be connecting with a Pisces, with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person, you might be getting pregnant. Some of you might have a child with this person. You're going to be reconnecting with this person. Now, the King of Sword is here. You guys, forty-five year, you men, forty-five years and older, you need to listen to your intuition about a project or a situation that is happening in your life. So, and and it has to do with money. You could be have to be helping someone out, or you need uh, to be paying something. As I'm looking, you're going to be dealing with the night of the, the and 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 uh, you're going to be dealing with and uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius person, whoever this person is. Um, you're uh, protected by this person. You're ready for anything that this person comes up with, but you're going to be turning your back on this person because you're going to be receiving an offer. And you're going to be turning your back on this person, and you're going to be moving forward and looking forward. Okay, so whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring know that um your life is definitely definitely um there is definitely some changes that is coming in for you guys okay so we have the animal spirit guide and let's see what animal spirit guides um, comes out for you aquarians we have a um, these animal spirit guides I'm going to be using them often um, so that you guys can be aligned with the energies because this is a very good um, your number um, number seven most of you are going to be definitely on the right part in your life and your number is going to be um, the energy of the star comes out so in relationships uh, it's it's going to be good some of you are going to be having new starts in relationship the energy of the star comes out number 77 you guys have number 77 it's definitely going to be a situation where um you're going to be finding the right part towards whatever you are um looking for in your life and do you know there is going to be opportunities especially if you're looking for a new relationship there is going to be opportunities there is definitely the ending of a situation uh a problem or um a resolution to a situation that is coming up but it's good okay so some of you have the energy of the peacock so you can use the energy of the peacock call upon the peacock if the peacock is your spiritual guides so call upon the peacock and the peacock is going to be helping you guys to move you forward we have the energy of the fox and um, some of you are going to be using the energy of the fox think on your feet think on your feet it's going to be the um, energies for you guys to think on your feet a lot of you are going to be um light is going to be shedded on family situation and um situations in your life so you need to be aware of that and you need to think on your foot so we're calling up on the angels and guides archangel metatron and the ascendance masters to come in and show us what activation key um the aquarians need to have and you guys have this activation key okay this activation key is the Merkaba activation key and the Merkaba activation key if you are working on um the part of the ascendance master this activation key will help you to open up so as you stop this video and stare at it for at least 10 seconds or um 10 minutes some people will do 10 minutes some people do 10 seconds this will open up the Merkaba within you, okay? So the Merkaba is really an energy field around you and it protects you. And as you look at this, you will find out that it's going to be helping you to open up. Now, um, um, 10, there is definitely a new start and these new starts are coming up because the peacock spirit is going to let your spirit shine. It's all about let your spirit shine and think on your feet. Think on your feet. Let your spirit shine and think on your feet because this is going to be very, very, very positive for you guys. So wonderful, positive energies that is coming out. I am wishing you guys really a wonderful month. Um, there is um, situations, there is a lot of... Uh, um, situations that is going to be coming up. I'm going to do the money reading. So 
you guys can catch us on on demand and i'm saying to you guys namaste until next time